people that are that ask me well if if i don't have importance around the goal how will i achieve it it's not the importance that gets gets the results it's your positive thought quality and action towards the goal yeah. Okay, so Vadim Zeeland, I was actually reading this for one of the new videos that we're going to be doing on the 78 Days of Practical Transurfing, and I absolutely just love this so much. And again, he's talking about becoming empty in regards to confidence, but again, this can be applied to virtually anything. So in order to acquire confidence, you must, first of all, let go of your attachment to the need to be confident. Insecurity lies in overestimating the importance of things. I don't need confidence as a crutch because if I have no importance, I have nothing to protect and nothing to gain. I have nothing to fear and nothing to worry about. If nothing is of excessive importance to me, my world is pure and transparent. I refuse to fight and choose to go with the variance flow or the alternative flow. I am empty, so I cannot be hooked. I have no need to struggle. I quietly go my own path, taking what is mine along the way. This is not a position of shaky confidence so much as a matter of calm, conscious creation. Okay, so here's the thing, that calm, conscious creation that he talks about, this is a benefit for just ridding yourself of pendulums in general. And he's saying insecurity here, same thing applies, because insecurity is basically a pendulum. You're, you're, you're giving your energy trying to, trying to uphold a standard that you have set for yourself, but then you're not quite believing in it. So in that not quite believing in it results in an insecurity. Well, maybe I won't get it. Well, maybe, and that's a pendulum as well. When you rid yourself of the need to be anything, or you rid yourself of what the pendulums external to you are trying to, fill you up with, right? Fear and again, insecurity and standards that you did not create and all this other stuff, this, this stuff ends up creating your reality for you, not the other way around, right? So being empty is calm, conscious coordination. And when I say being empty, I know that there's a lot of questions from people. Well, if I've dropped importance, if I'm empty emotionally to my goal, how will I ever achieve it? How, will, how do I take action towards it, right? So this is what I like to say about importance in general, but importance surrounding a goal, you know, for the sake of this conversation, but your importance levels, okay? So just try to try to really envision and hear what I'm saying, because this is this is powerful stuff if you can really get it and hold on to it. Your importance levels are not going to create the result that you want to see. Your importance levels aren't going to influence the thing in your favor, okay? Your importance levels have absolutely nothing to do with it. So if you have a goal in mind, right? If you have a goal in mind and you, you well, first of all, if you have a bunch of importance around uh, achieving that goal, you're loading it up with excess potential, just as Vadim said in the book, you're loading it up with excess potential. And this is when you, you lose your, your ability to access all of what you really need to achieve the goal. So you're actually hindering yourself when you load up 
a goal with excess potential and importance, you're clutching onto this rock in the alternatives flow and you're unable to access. And when, it, when Vadim Zeeland says it here, um, I quietly go my own path, taking what is mine along the way. I cannot be hooked. I have no need to struggle. I am empty. So I quietly go my own path, taking what is long, uh, along the way. This is the, the empty person. The empty person is floating in this alternative stream, able to access and take what is theirs along the way. The person that is loaded up with insecurities, importance of self, importance of external events, all that kind of stuff. They're the ones that are clutching onto that rock, which is whatever, whatever the circumstances are surrounding that importance, all loaded up with importance and excess potential, and then just holding on to it for dear life. Now, the, the, the rock can also signify, obviously, false confidence. Their confidence and importance are one and the same. Just as I was saying, importance isn't actually going to sway the thing in your favor. So for people that are that ask me, well, if if I don't have importance around the goal, how will I achieve it? It's not the importance that gets gets the results. It's your positive thought quality and action towards the goal. Now, a lot of people confuse dropping importance with not taking action. That's not what it means. You still have to take action. You still have to maintain thought quality. You still have to keep your frequency high so you can access higher information and material and stuff in the alternatives flow. But importance isn't really part of the equation. You can drop the importance you can drop the confidence and you just calmly and firmly take actions in your external reality, taking what is yours along the way. So being empty, the pendulum cannot hook you. So I know people have asked me all sorts of things about this. Well, being empty, does that mean that I'm just like some emotionless you know, like zombie that doesn't ever show any emotion. I can't do that. I've had lots and lots and lots of those. Um, and transurfing is not advocating for you to drop all emotions and being completely empty of emotion. What transurfing is suggesting is making certain that you're staying aware to your emotions and that your emotions aren't captivating you to the extent that you become lost to this calm, conscious, coordination, creator mode, right? That your emotions, emotions are usually what gets you into this mode, right? This person, the ah, emptiness, floating down the alternatives, flow, being empty to the pendulums, going their own way, taking what is theirs along the way. This isn't a person that is captivated by their emotions. This is a person that is captivated by their emotions. So being empty, the pendulum cannot hook you. Um, again, this is really just, and once you are, hookable for lack of a better term you could get one pendulum off of you but if you still haven't emptied yourself out you're primed for the next pendulum to just come and rip you apart right so it's more about emptying yourself and becoming um becoming this 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 person that is not going to be hooked by the pendulums rather than battling to be free of the pendulums, right? And even Vadim says it in the book, I don't have to battle, I don't have to fight, right? Just become empty so the pendulums can't hook you. The pendulum hooking you equals a reality being fed to you, okay? So this is pendulum, this is importance, this is a person stuck, this is not an empty person. This is a, an emotional, um, excess potential, you know, person that's in this, ver this one static version of reality, clutching onto something or needing the world to conform to their ideals 
or not wanting to let go of a relationship or something and this this is this is how you kind of like get stuck in one reality and then you don't really know how to get yourself out of it right so this is kind of like you allowed the pendulum to create a reality for you or you co-create a reality with a pendulum <laughs> So a pendulum hooking you equals a reality being fed to you. Sorry, I drew over this a little here, guys. A pure and transparent world equals the alternatives flow. So when you're in this state, the clutching onto the rock for dear life, you're not empty, you're triggered by all kinds of things, you've got a bunch of importance. This is, you're, you're not able to see reality in its transparent and pure nature and what it has to offer because your sights are just on this right this is all you can see this is all you can see when you can become more empty and let go of that rock and let yourself float into the alternative space ah happiness or ah emptiness well really emptiness is happiness um, the world becomes much more transparent and pure and you'll have the ability to see all different sorts of things that you didn't even know were there, right? Lots of options and variations and variables start coming into play. And this is when, for me, I realized that living in a state of emptiness, the more empty I can make myself, the less pendulums hook me, the more I flow and the more I gain access to all sorts of cool stuff that I don't even know is waiting for me downstream. And it's a freaking miracle. So why would I want to be this one when I can be this one, right? So let me know your thoughts on this video, everybody. Remember to like, comment, question, ask questions below, subscribe, join us on Facebook, and thank you so much for watching. Bye, guys.